The impeller is the part of the pump that throws the water. This is also the part of the system that takes the brunt of the damage when cavitation occurs. The influent, inflowing water is drawn into the wet end by the spinning impeller suction. After the water passes through the pump pot where the strainer basket is kept, it must enter the pump volute before it reaches the impeller. Or through a diffuser, if a diffuser pump is directed to the impeller's eye. We have to look at Bernoulli's equation. As the impeller spins, counterclockwise, centrifugal force exerts on the water. The rotation increases both its pressure and velocity, driving the liquid through the discharge and into the filter. This force creates low pressure at the eye. Water from the pump pot rushes to fill, giving us the suction that draws the water from the pool. If something were to restrict the flow of water to the impeller, the pressure at the eye would drop further. This could be due to a full pump basket, incorrect valve position on the suction side, clogged suction pipe, stuffed skimmer basket, blocked main drain, or a vacuum filter, if present, in need of cleaning. If the pressure drop were significant enough, the water would flash to steam. These steam bubbles are whisked along the veins of the impeller. Some get caught in the effluent, discharge, stream of water, and may make it back to the pool. This explains the floor returns bubbles when a vacuum DE filter is long overdue for a cleaning. Most of the bubbles won't make it past the veins of the impeller. Once they reach the water with higher pressure, the bubbles begin to implode. The steam bubble's violent collapse sends shock waves through the water that can damage the pump's internal components. This will cause pitting, and the impeller typically takes the bulk of the damage. Brass is 67% copper and 33% zinc. It is important to note that discharge cavitation also exists. When something, such as a closed valve, restricts the flow to the point it cannot easily leave the pump, or if the flow is restricted downstream in the system. When water trapped in the pump circulates within the wet end at a high velocity, it is forced through the narrow clearance between the impeller and the seal plate and the impeller and the volute, or diffuser if a diffuser pump. This will cause damage to the impeller, pump shaft, and other internal components when the steam bubbles collapse.